Thank you. I think that's awesome. Yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> At the start of the election night on Monday, Kenora's NDP candidate, Janine Seymour, was in high spirits. The Ojibwe lawyer from Rat Portage First Nation was in the lead for the start of the evening. So to come here and to gather with the community and, and all my loved ones is just so powerful. In the end, Conservative incumbent Eric Malello held the Kenora riding, which covers northwestern Ontario. Seymour came in second, behind by roughly 3,000 votes, and says the issues facing First Nation people in the riding was number one. I really wasn't looking for placement even. I really wanted the issues to be talked about in a real way and dialogue to happen. Seymour's second place still holds some importance, however. The riding has switched back and forth from Conservative to Liberal since 2003. According to the Ontario Human Rights Commission, Kenora has one of the highest rates of homelessness in the province of Ontario, many of which are Indigenous. Seymour says she tried to advocate for those voices during her campaign. Evelyn Finlayson is a friend of Seymour, and we asked her if Indigenous voters will be a game-changer for future elections. It has to be, you know, because all the other... Sorry, I don't... Not going to swear, <laughs> but all the other guys have broken promises, so it's uh, kind of nice that we get our Indigenous people in there and see what they can do and, you know, and hopefully make those changes, right? Seymour says she's not finished using an open dialogue with MP Eric Malello. I did believe... Uh, everything that I said of wanting to work together, uh, collaboration, his supporters, my supporters, let's start that dialogue. Seymour says she doesn't know if she'll run again in the next federal election. Michelle Karlenzik, APTN National News, Kenora.